Regardless of my fear of getting hate comments for this video, I, I'm gonna upload it. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I have a feeling this is going to be a very chatty one because one, I feel like I just have so many things to say, but two, Zach is gone. He's actually away for the weekend. He's in Boston and I have no one to talk to. So I figured I'd be talking in the vlog all weekend. I am just super excited, happy. I released, released the news. That's a weird way to phrase it. I let you guys know that I was pregnant yesterday. That's when I posted about it and I put up the video of me finding out I was pregnant. And first of all, your guys' sweet words, like, oh my gosh, mean the world to me. Like, I have just been scrolling through and it, yeah, it just like seriously means the world. Especially a lot of you guys are commenting saying like, you've been on this journey with me since, you know, high school or college or when I was reporting, whenever it was, it's just crazy. And it feels good that it is finally just like out in the open. I've hated keeping the secret. I almost feel like deceptive and it's funny. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. If you hear this guy chewing on a bone, the prince needs the bone. He is very upset when I put him in the crate this morning when I went to the gym, so he needs it, okay? Yeah, before I was pregnant, whenever I would find out someone was pregnant who I had had a conversation with just a few weeks before, I'd be so offended. I'd be like, what the heck? Why didn't they tell me? Like, did they not trust me? Like, what? But now I know, and I seriously, I only personally told a very few amount of people. Like, I almost feel bad. I put the announcement out. I feel like I had so many texts from friends being like, what? Like, what the heck? And it's not, yeah, like, it's not to be deceptive. It's nothing like that. It's not that you don't trust someone. It's just that it's so scary. Like, that's something I feel like I was not expecting. I always thought like, oh, you just get pregnant and then you're pregnant and then life is great. No. You are worrying, okay, well, I don't wanna speak for everyone because there are so many people, actually, I follow YouTubers who I could tell like are literally not worrying at all. And I'm just like, how I wanna be you. For me, oh my gosh, it's like every part of the journey, there's so much fear, um, especially like, you'll, you know, for me, like I was just getting these weird symptoms that I talked about in my first trimester vlog. And every day it literally felt like is today the day something bad is going to happen? And I know that sounds awful. I think one thing that really I should not have done, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube that I should not have. I mean, it's so great that these people have shared their stories opening up about loss and, oh my gosh, like I can't, like literally like life-changing that people are now so much more open about that um, just because you can feel so alone in those situations. But I watched one too many of them where I really should not have. So I, I just didn't want to tell anyone. Like I didn't even tell my parents until I think like nine weeks. Um, yeah, like I really kept this one very close to my chest. And it's just because it's like every single human you tell as a human, you're going to have to text like something bad happened and, and, and you don't want to let them down. You don't want them to get, you know. I, I felt like weirdly deceptive. I've been trying really hard in my vlogs to remain as normal as possible. I mean, there are certain things like when I was talking about how I have not been able to eat breakfast lately and I'm trying to find new things. I mean, that was me not being able to eat anything <laughs> lately and I was just trying to start with breakfast. My burger obsession, my cereal obsession, like all of that was obviously part of it. Like it was really hard for me to totally hide, but I was just trying to go about it and not make it so obvious because I talked about this in my last vlog, but like I, I'm not trying to play into this whole guessing game because I've always said never, ever, ever, please guys, never ask someone if they are pregnant. It is just not okay. It's been really nice though that a lot of people have been reaching out and it's like, it's great being able to actually talk to people about it who have been there, done that, who understand. Um, just because like I don't have any friends right now who are pregnant with me Which like I feel like that always be like a dream, but at the same time, it's a dream. Yes Everyone's pregnancy is so different that it almost might have made me feel like sad just because I did have a very bad first trimester and For example, I was at the gym this morning and my partner like they try to partner the pregnant people together I asked her like how was your first trimester? She's in her third now. She told me it was a breeze she didn't even, like, she had no symptoms, <laughs> nothing. I literally, I just met her. I'm like, I hate you. Like, that is insanity. Like, what the heck? So everyone's experience is just so different. I will say, I think something that had to do with it, my HCG levels, which is the pregnancy hormone, were so high. 
because when I went in, I think I found out like somewhere around six weeks. And when I went in, she thought my doctor based on my levels thought I was around eight weeks pregnant, which we then did the ultrasound and like, no, I was not eight weeks pregnant, which I was a little frightened about, but I looked it up. I mean, there are some reasons you can have high HCG, like if you're expecting twins, which I am not. I was a little bit frightened about that for a hot second because it does run in my family. Um, and then number two, there can be problems, chromosomal problems. I did do a blood test to check for all of that because Zach really wanted to find out the gender, which as of right now, we do know the gender. I'm not sharing it yet. Like I just like keeping things to myself for a little bit. It's very special um, just to like keep it. I was about to say to the two of us, but like anyone we know in real life, we tell it's not like a secret. But yeah, HCG, I feel like that is why I had such a bad time because I just think like, you know, the more of the hormone that's pumping through your body, like the worse it is. Like the hormone I think is what really makes you sick. And it ranges a lot. Like the normal, normal range is like crazy. Like just everyone's body is different. My body, my body got pregnant and was like, let's produce this. Let's go crazy. And yeah, so that's, that's life. But right now I am getting ready to podcast with Gaby. I'm so excited. I love doing our podcast so much. Like it's like the most entertaining hour of my life. And once again, I will have our podcast linked below. You can get it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. You can watch it on Spotify. It's just off the record with Clancy and Gaby, but I'll have it linked below as well. And then the Instagram will be linked as well. It's just off the record podcast underscore. I think today I'm just gonna do a more neutral makeup. I might even wear my hair in a bun. I don't know. And as always, if you have any episode request ideas, because we plan to just cover everything, life. Like obviously our time as TV news reporters, the behind the scenes of career, all of that but like really just anything. Like today we're doing an episode all about like our early 20s versus our late 20s, mistakes we've made, things we've learned, all of that. I'm excited. I just finished getting ready. I'm just waiting for Gaby to hop on the podcast, but I have crack the code in life where you don't gotta do your hair, you don't gotta do crazy makeup, but if you throw on a bold lip, it automatically looks like you are trying 10 times harder than you are. And like, you just look so much more put together because I just, I mean, I haven't even shown you guys the full outfit. Like this just, this is what I've been living in. And that's why like, I think it was my mom who asked me like, have things been fitting tighter lately? I'm like, I don't know, because I'm wearing clothes that are already like two sizes too big. Like I just love baggy clothes. And especially right now, like my stomach does not want anything tight near it at all. Also, oh my gosh, so when Gaby and I are chatting, I, I don't know about you guys, but I've always been a huge doodler, like in school, oh my gosh, all of my notebooks, I'll be paying attention, but I just need to be like, basically what I do is I end up just like writing the same phrase a million times. So I just keep writing like, hello, my name is Clancy, Clancy Burke, Clancy Rogel, Clancy Burke, like very weird, but like, I just love mindlessly doing it. Then on this page, I wrote, they don't care. Like what? I think we were talking about something and like I said the words like they don't care, but it's like, why? Like I mindlessly did this. I have no memory of doing this. And I just looked down and it's they don't care. But yes, this is the podcast setup. Um, we use Riverside, which it's not free, but so far it's been going really well. I didn't know how the podcast would go with both of us not being together. But no, so far Riverside has been very good. Honestly, that's probably one of my biggest mistakes in my entire life. What was I thinking? I I just finished recording with Gaby, and I feel like I say this every week, but this was by far, hands down, my favorite episode yet, where I feel like we just, I mean, we delved into so many things I've never talked about on my YouTube channel before, which really was a goal of mine with this podcast. I want it to be different than my YouTube channel, like just, I want to talk about different things. Like, I don't know. It just, it was so good. I wasn't even like expecting us to go in the direction we went, but I'm glad we did. Anyway, I am right now making myself lunch, about to make a little uh, chicken wrap, which hallelujah, thank goodness I am making lunch. Guys, the amount that I ate out during the first trimester of my pregnancy is appalling. I would love to say I don't know how much money I spent, but the truth is I do. And that is because I do track my finances. And actually, I'm not the one who tracks it. It's a very hands-off experience, which is what I like. And it's through the app Rocket Money. You guys know I have been using this personal finance app for well over a year now, almost. Has it been two years? 
I think it's been two years at this point, if I'm not mistaken. I'm so excited I get to work with them on this video. And I'm just excited to tell you guys about this. Like this is hands down the coolest app on my phone. Definitely the most like impactful app. I'm not the type of person, even though I love saving money and I'm cognizant of my money, I'm not out here making Excel sheets, like making spreadsheets. I just, I don't know how that works, okay? <laughs> I've said it before. I was a journalism major in college, like the whole math finance thing. Not my, not my best thing, but Rocket Money makes it so easy. One of my favorite features is that you can actually set up a budget through the app. And also you can see all of your expenses categorized. They do it automatically for you. So for example, I'm not putting on the screen how much money I spent <laughs> during the last month on takeout because that's just a little too personal. Whatever you see on the screen, is kind of just like a, a little sample. Um, but I, I was able to see that number. And it's really helpful because you're able to see like, oh gosh, I'm spending a little bit too much on on takeout this month or maybe a little too much on entertainment or travel whatever it might be and you can actually make tangible goals the other really cool feature and I tell anyone who has ears if you've never done this before you have to stop what you're doing and do this right now as soon as you sign up for rocket money you will be able to go into the app pop in all of your information and it'll show you all of your subscriptions so all of your recurring bills for example it shows me my gym subscription my Netflix I recently signed up for that but there is a very good chance you have subscriptions you don't even know about that you totally forget you signed up for. And that happened to me when I first signed up. It is so eye-opening. I had no idea. And the really cool thing is Rocket Money can cancel your subscription for you. All you do is put the tap of a button, boom, subscription canceled. And they can also lower bills for you. It's like, there's just so much in this app. So I'm going to have it linked below. You can try it out for free. You'll get a free trial with my link, which is rocketmoney.com slash Clancy. I cannot recommend this app enough. Whether you have big financial goals this year, you're feeling just a little bit lost, or maybe you don't even have any, but you wanna get started, this is the easiest way to do it. I cannot recommend it enough. And if anyone knows how to fold a wrap, please let me know because this is the one thing that I just cannot get down for the life of me. Like, ready? I'm about to go for the gold, ready? I'm folding it. I think I just have too much in it, but like, I don't. Like, I need all of this stuff, I'm hungry. And then I do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, Oh, I need like five hands. All right, it's not awful. Even though, yes it is. It's still gonna taste good, it's just very messy. Oh my gosh, also, I tried these dark russet kettle cooked potato chips from Trader Joe's the other day. So freaking good. There's sadly like nothing left in the bag because I ate them all, but yeah, oh my gosh. These are like the best potato chips I've ever had in my life. Good morning, Prince Asher. <laughs> Is it time for us to get up? Oh my gosh, he has been crying at me for the past 20 minutes. We're trying to practice sleeping in and it's really not working. <laughs> Thank you. Can I wait, wait, wait. Have this. Yes, thank you. That is such a cute paw. Maybe the cutest I've ever seen. Thank you. Why are you the cutest boy I've ever met in my entire life, Asher? It doesn't even make sense. Get it! Thank you, thank you. Get it! for meal time <laughs> just a little <laughs> careful careful I don't even have to tell him to sit anymore he just he knows the drill stay stay I just want to say, I don't know how single puppy moms or puppy dads do it because just with Zach not being here and not getting any relief at all is so much harder because normally, I mean, obviously I spend more time with Asher. I'm home all day. I'm, I'm the one who's doing a majority of the work just because Zach is at work. But still, when he comes home, like he'll take Asher out for potty sometimes and you know, just do various things to help. And just without him being here, like, oh my gosh, it's just like all on me and by the way oh my gosh guys i don't know if you remember it was like like right after we got asher i started sleeping in the guest room some nights because i needed more sleep and my mom didn't know i was pregnant at that point and she was like what is wrong with you like you are the one who made zach not made zach but i really wanted a puppy oh the little guy can wait just a minute um no he can't <laughs> one second but anyway my mom was like what is wrong with you like you're the one who wanted the puppy and you're now leaving them to sleep in the guest room so you can get more sleep like what the heck I'm sure a lot of people 
were thinking that. I don't think anyone actually commented that. Thank you very much. Um, but it was because I was pregnant and I was dealing with all of those horrible symptoms and I wasn't sleeping as is because of the nausea. So me going into the guest room was like, you know, just trying to live. <laughs> Obviously I wouldn't have done that if I wasn't pregnant, but yeah, Zach definitely, uh, him not being here is making me realize how valuable he is to this family, a real MVP. And like, don't even get me started on single moms and dads. Like if you're a single parent, I would, you're a superhero. Like you can do anything if you could do that because I just can't even imagine. Um, Asher is preparing us for <laughs> parenthood because I was up twice with him last, oh, he got the squeaky toy. I'm so, Ash, let's play with the blue one. The blue one is so fun. We're just gonna be a little break. Nope, nope, just a break. You can't always have a squeaker. Asher, you can't go that way, clearly. I feel like there are some fundamentals I am getting the hang of with Asher. I mean, it's just like, he really is training wheels for being a parent because before him, my life was just 100% like selfish to a degree. I mean, obviously like I volunteer, you know, I try to be a good person, but I didn't have to worry about anyone else. I didn't have to take care of anyone else. You know, it's just very me, me, me. And now I'm realizing like, oh, this is what it's like to care for another creature. Um, but yeah, like, so we were up twice, like maybe at like 2 a.m. I don't look at the clock because I try not to have anything wake me up. Um, he had to pee and then at like six, he had to poop. And that's when I woke up, but I just laid in bed for like 40 minutes. But I have a little book rec for you guys. This is a little bit different than my normal stuff, which I'm about to start getting into this type of book because it was so good. True crime, oh my gosh. I mean, a lot of people watch true crime on like Netflix and various documentaries. True crime books are just so interesting. You get so many details that they just have to leave out in, you know, random, you know, TV, movies, whatever it might be, just because of a time restraint, but with true crime books, like they can put in every single detail. This is the Menendez murders, the brothers who killed their parents and I think it was like 1989 and they ended up admitting to it, but their whole thing was like they had been sexually abused since they were children. It, it was crazy. They're right now in jail and I believe they're trying to get a whole new trial going because of recent evidence that came out, but I'm about to be done with this book. So freaking good though, I really recommend. And if you have any other true crime book recs, like I am, I'm all in for the true crime now. Someone want their squeaker back? You can have it, it's yours. I just wanted to borrow it. Right now I'm doing a very bold, one might even say dangerous activity where it is a Saturday morning and I'm at Trader Joe's and this is not something I ever do. Like I have learned my lesson. It is a zoo in there and it's just, because it's not a big store either, but I really, really, really want to make this specific lunch because I used to love the Trader Joe's rice cauliflower bowls. They were so freaking good. And then when I went there the other day, I was devastated to learn, I think they discontinued them because they had none. And I feel like they've had none for a while. And you know what? There is a whole community online we are strong, we are proud, who we're just devastated over it. So that was a big mistake, Trader Joe's, big mistake. But I did look up a copycat recipe, so I'm gonna try to recreate it. I've also had a very big ick, like with chicken lately. I've been forcing myself to try to eat it just for protein, but it's, it's I don't even wanna think about it. It's just not good. So I might try to dabble in tofu, which I've never purchased tofu before. Gaby told me to come to Trader Joe's because they have good uh, tofu. So I said, is it located near the meats? And she said they wouldn't dare nestle it near the meats. And I guess it's in the produce section near the dips and prepackaged salads. That sounds sketchy, but anyway, wish me luck. All right, I'm back home. I figured I could do a little Trader Joe's haul because I am trying some new things. I already tore into this. I am just trying them for the first time, these cinnamon bagels. So freaking good, I'm so hungry, but yeah, this tastes really good. Classic, some popcorn. Trying this for the first time, I feel like tortilla chips sounded good. Oh my gosh, so good. Little chicken nuggets, I feel like this is just definitely in the cards for dinner tonight. Along with some of the Trader Joe's seasoned fries. I tried these for the first time last week and they're pretty good, I really like them. I did them in the air fryer. And I just got some boring stuff, tried lettuce for some wraps, bananas, riced cauliflower. These I've had before, they're really good with like a, I don't know if you do chicken, tofu, what? 
what's going on? But they're just so simple. Then I got some baked tofu. Gabby recommended this one, so I'm trusting her. I am really not a tofu person, so this should be interesting. Sweet potato, and then just an onion and a lemon for the bowl. He gets so upset when I don't give him a lot of attention when I come home, but I read that you're really not supposed to because he really does suffer from separation anxiety. Oh, thank you. Um, so I read you're really not supposed to make a big deal of leaving or coming, but I love you so much and you know it. Like that's the thing, you know it. Oh gosh, you almost just knocked me over. Change of plans, I realized, oh freak, are you, no, oh my gosh. It is everywhere. This is disgusting, especially the, the stench. Oh, Asher, why does this happen to me? Anyway, as I was saying, I forgot so many ingredients for the dish I wanna make, like the cauliflower bowl. So I'm just going to be doing that for dinner tonight. I'll run back out to the grocery store later. And this will do for now. We've got the nuggets, we've got the fries, and I'm trying to incorporate some health into my life. We've got some cherry tomatoes on the side as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just sat down to record this and I'm just realizing this shirt has definitely seen better days. I had to change out of my ketchup clothes, but this one's not looking too hot. It is the most beautiful day ever. I'm gonna try maybe, maybe later in a bit of time. I just have so much work to do though. Like I, it's right now 4 p.m. I've just been in front of my laptop for hours, um, which not complaining at all. Like, oh my gosh, it's like fun work. I'm editing fun videos. But the reason I was so much piled up is because I actually decided to take five days off in a row last week where I didn't edit, I didn't record, and it, ugh, it really felt so good. But this reminds me, like, this is why... I never like taking vacation. I never like taking a break. This goes back even to school days, work days, because it's just not worth it when you come back and it's all piled up. Like it's just, I'd rather just like work a little each day rather than having like crazy pile ups. Like I remember in school, I'd go to school so sick because it just wasn't worth like the pile up of work at the end. I'm going on a random, on a random tangent, but I just finished the last video in my little like pregnancy announcement series. It was four videos. I was gonna make it one big, documentary style video, but then I realized like, I just want them to be like four special videos, even just like selfishly for my memories. This last one, which you guys would have already seen by now, my first trimester vlog, I'm nervous about just because I was just dead honest about my feelings and my thoughts and a lot of them were negative. And I know people, I feel like people are gonna comment and be like, you need therapy. Listen, I am a very anxious person, like, and maybe I do need therapy, but also like, it's fine. like. I do have anxious thoughts. I'm a naturally anxious person. And this like is a very anxious time. Like I can't think of a more anxious time. I was actually just talking to a friend who had messaged me who was saying even after the first trimester, like her anxiety didn't really get better. I mean, obviously you cope with it, you deal with it. But I'm like, yeah, because whatever is going on inside my body, I don't, I can't control and I don't trust. Like I, I don't trust that there's like this magical placenta in there making everything okay. Like if my baby was in my arms, and I understand there are, there are so many anxieties once your baby is here, but like I actually, I trust that I could, that I could, you know, take care of it. But I don't know what's going on in there right now. So like that freaks me out. But anyway, regardless of my fear of getting hate comments for this video, I, I'm gonna upload it because if I was feeling those things, even though I've like never seen a video like that before, I guarantee you I'm not the only person. couple of bites off camera. It is so freaking good. And it made multiple meals. Like for me, it's not worth it to do all of that if it's just for one measly meal, but at least I'll have a couple of meals out of it. So
Oh my goodness, guys, Asher and I have had the most cuddly, cozy morning ever. I woke up and I heard the thunder and lightning. Well, you can't hear lightning. I heard the thunder and I was just like, it's go time. Like we scurried downstairs and we just sat in front of the window because you could see it all happening. It was just, it was so magical, wasn't it, Ash? A very magical moment for us, but I'm about to head out to pick Zach up from the airport, guys, it's funny. I thought getting a dog would really help me feel more safe and secure in my house but it's the opposite because he freaks me out. First of all, he's not yet at the, at the size I need him to be for him to be a guard dog. I really do think he would like murder anyone who came into the house though because whenever he hears someone, like he runs to the door, barks, I'm like, that's my boy. But, oh my gosh, do you know what he does? Oh, let me insert some photos. He just, he acts like he hears something from downstairs and he like springs up and maybe he does, maybe it's like the fridge, I don't know, but it's so creepy and he like changes positions, but like still is staring at the door that I have now locked. Like very, very creepy, Ash. So that, that happened last night, but oh my gosh, let me show you guys. So when, oh my gosh, first of all, look at this hot mess. Um, but whenever I go to someone's house, I always try to bring a dessert and then something healthy. I feel like everyone wants to be like the hero who brings the cupcakes, which obviously I did bake cupcakes, but no one ever thinks about like the healthy classic side. So I try to do that. I just cooked some carrots. I boiled them. But as for the cupcakes, these are not your average cupcakes. They're actually gender reveal cupcakes that I baked last night. I put either pink or blue filling in the middle and whenever everyone bites into them they will then know the gender of our baby which oh my gosh look at him he has never done that before he's like where was mom just sitting um but whenever anyone bites into them they will then know and i am going to be revealing the gender of our baby obviously on here zach and i recorded it a very unorthodox thing though i don't think i've ever seen a gender reveal where the couple finds out at different times you will see why it was pretty funny but i will be uploading that video eventually as well i still need to go through all of the footage and edit it but anyway i think i'm going to end off here i will once again have that link for rocket money below if you guys want to sign up you could do it for free with a free trial and then eventually if you want to unlock more features you could do premium as well i seriously recommend it so much no matter your age no matter your financial goals or like your status it's just so freaking helpful but anyway i will talk to you guys later bye